This is the November 24th, 2011 math SAT question of the day. Kind of a puzzle question. The least number of marbles one would need in order to place four marbles on each line of the figure above is 5, 10, 14, 15, or 20. So let's see here. If I've got marbles, let's say I have red marbles, they'll look like this. I need four marbles on each line. So I need one, two, three, four marbles on that line. And I need four marbles on this line. And I need four marbles on this line. And four marbles on this line. That was one there, right? Four marbles on this line. Basically, I have one, two, three, one, one, two, three, four, five lines. So the least number, though, means there's got to be a trick somehow. I could just put four marbles on each line, and I have five lines, and, uh, and I could have 20. Well, let's see if we can beat that. Let's take those marbles away. Now let's start thinking about this. You know, if I put a marble here, that's both on that line and that line. And if I put a marble here, that's on that line and that line. So already I've uh, got five marbles, sorry, yeah, five marbles here. And I've got a mar one marble on each line. So something about the intersections must be interesting. Intersections of the line. What if I put a marble here? Isn't that a marble on that line and that line? I think so. So now we're looking at the intersections here. Now if I look at, let's look at this line right here. This line right here has four marbles on it. Similarly, let's do purple. This line right here has four marbles on it. One, two, three, four. And the same with every other line in this figure has four marbles on it. The question is, how many marbles is that? Well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, so I can go from 20 marbles to 10 marbles just by putting marbles on intersections of lines, or so interesting lines. The answer is B, 10.